the superintendent of the Morgan County Highway Department. Kane describes the county's transportation scene and how the highway department fits into it. My responsibility is we have a annual budget of $3.4 million yearly. Uh, we have 18 employees that work out of the garage down here and I, I am the overseer of uh, everything that's uh, done out of the garage as far as road work, maintenance, repair, and uh, any uh, anything of that source. Um, our county has 182 miles of state roads and we have 386 miles of township roads, but on our end of it, the county highway department itself has 346 miles of county roads. And we also have 113 miles of that 346, which are gravel roads. We also have 205 bridges. And another thing to over is all the maintenance and repair as far as the road work, uh, as far as patching potholes all the way down to a full depth reclamation on redoing a road, uh, snow removal in the wintertime. And, um, and the same way with bridges there, you know, we're uh, over the bridges there, there's 205 of those. And the same way there, you know, the maintenance and repair over the bridges, and even if it's a full total rebuild of a, a bridge. Yeah. Additionally, Morgan County has very little in the way of local revenue and does its best to maintain roadways across some of the state's most rugged terrain. Our terrain is uh, much different than a lot of the... Uh, the counties like Delaware and some of that, you know, we have, uh, they're a lot flatter area than what we are. And we have uh, lots of hills and turns and uh, with the snow and the ice and stuff, it just makes it a lot more treacherous trying to get across some of our roads uh, versus uh, what we would have if we had some, some flatter ground to cover. Kane elaborates how major projects are planned by the seasons. That all, uh, that all depends on the weather and the time of year, what all we do have going on. If it's summertime, we've, uh, we've got our big projects going on, then that's when we get into some of our main uh, construction part, uh, ditching, uh, cutting the brush down and widening the road, replacing covers to do a full rebuild on roads. Uh, but any time in between that, you know, we do also have um, times where we have decent weather where we can get out and do some patching on some of the potholes, which uh, this time of year is... Um, one of our rougher times of year for potholes with the plowing, the cinders, the freezing and thawing, it will bring the potholes out. And, and like I say, it's all weather permitting, you know, we don't want to go out and fill a hole with a standing curve full of water. And, but uh, but those, are, those are some of the things that we do get into from day-to-day -day activities. But weather can be unpredictable and can instantly change the highway department's routines. Today we had a, a snow event, which... Uh, which in turn, what that does for us is uh, our normal routine as far as uh, road maintenance or repair, something we got going on, uh, we end up sending all of our manpower out that we have to uh, cover the roads as far as plowing the road or sending the road, whatever we need to do there. And we pretty much have to send our whole, whole crew when we do that, so it kind of takes away from uh, anything that we have going on, such as uh, something planned as uh, replacing cars or doing some ditch work or uh, cutting brush or something to repair for the the new uh, the roads that we're going to be doing here in the, the springtime. This has been a look at how a local county government does its best to maintain its roadways.